Welcome to Eventy Clinic presents Colors Mr and Master Cook. I'm Chef Deepthi, your host and judge on this unique cooking show where fathers are cooking with their children, playing together, loving together and bonding together in this kitchen. Not every successful man is a good father, but every good father is a successful man. Each contestant in this round is every bit a successful man. So let's begin by taking a look at our contestants for today. Team 1, we have Mridul and Sia. My name is Mridul uh, and I work for an uh, technology IT uh, MNC company, uh, working and then managing the Asia Pacific region for strategy operations and that's my daughter Sia. Team 2, we have Nikhil and Adbhav. My name is Nikhil and this is my son Adbhav. I'm looking forward to having some fun and dishing out some good recipe. I feel very excited. And team 3 we have Prashant and Anish. Hi, I am Prashant. Currently I am working in Singapore in a ship management company. I am Anish. I am a second grade student. We have done some practice yesterday and uh, we hope uh, we are able to make some uh, good food together we will. Rock. Joining me on the panel of judges is Ujwala Bakshi. She is the founder of Portion Pure True Diet. My task as a nutritionist out here to make sure that the recipes tend to get more healthier because we want the fathers to be a good role model to their children. Mr. Sony Hak He is the dean at the HCSA Culinary Academy. We are primarily looking for the taste and the balance, and also make sure that when you prepare, pay attention to your hygiene aspect. This is uncooked food, so be careful with that. Make sure don't contaminate. Be very safe. Our eyes are always on you. And Mr. Bharat Kumar, who is the founder member of Wango. Father is inspiration for a son or a daughter in many ways. and to be a inspiration in cooking uh, would be a nice add on to the list as well so contestants are you all excited yes, yes chef for your first culinary challenge you have to cook without fire you need to use suwai's multi grain wraps suwai paneer and suwai groundnut oil to make a healthy mediterranean wrap any other ingredients that you may need to make a delicious wrap are already on your table Your final product should be flavorful and well presented. You will be given 15 minutes to prepare this wrap. So are you all ready to cook? Your time starts now. Mix it up. Probably we would like to see depending on the ingredients we have, we would try to be a bit innovative. Yeah. Kale the Young man, are you having a good time? High five. This we do at home. It's not a very safe way. The safest way is if we can do that. Okay, and then scrape it up. What's there in the cream? Uh, salt, paprika, some lime juice. Traditionally wraps all are filled with vegetables but they also have a lot of salt dressings and cheese what we are trying to do is make sure that the wrap that we are using as much as possible much more multi grain and having a lot of natural ingredients You seem to be like cutting really well Thank you Have you cut before uh, Do you cut often at home help your mom at home No <laughs> No is the first time I don't cook a lot <laughs> But she loves the watching the cooking shows Yeah right? Have you all tasted it? So one good advice to make sure that the wrap does not become salty is best to taste the dressing before. Okay, let me teach you something. This is the cream. Just make it very cream and without any lumps, so that it is very smooth when you use it. Okay. Both the father and son they did very well. Uh, the son was very good at following whatever instructions. the father was giving to him 
of course he's uh, very small so father was taking the lead in pretty much everything great to see the teams demonstrating so much of teamwork and at the same time having that positive competitive spirit in them while trying to create something great on the plate both of you look so cute together thank you, thank you. how is it going good okay i can see that you're cutting your vegetables very beautifully did you learn that somewhere no just uh, sometimes just practice yeah fantastic and sia is making the spread okay and you're cutting the vegetables fantastic execution all the best to thank both you. of you the interesting uh, concept and it also it is something uh, fresh and new for us to try it out and also spend some time with my daughter i think that's good enough i would like to take some experience out of my childhood when i would to see my grandmother and mother cooking and putting things in a authentic manner so probably i would get some uh, inspiration from my childhood experiences Oh, very good. Mridul and Sia, you could just see that the father and the daughter are really really well bonded and really love each other. A kitchen is a very tough place. There's always a time limit there. So whenever you have a time limit you need to divide your tasks properly. You cannot spend a lot of time chopping and then very little time assembling. Okay? Just going to the vegetables. Huh? Coffee. Are you ready to go? Quickly. Clinic presents Colors, Mr. and Master Cook. The contestants are still working on the wrap. Let's see who manages to finish in time and whose wrap tastes the best. We had an accident during our uh, cooking session. The oil spilled out, but we managed it. Funny here. It was a great experience uh, working with my son, especially on. Uh, this scale and uh, in a time bound manner making this fit start of Will fall down. Hmm, didn't come out good, baby. What's this? No, I put already. Is space but not room. Yeah, but not no, 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 no. Wipe the floor. You could add a small wedge of lime also into that. You know, I can show you how to do that. The one will be good. Contestants, you have ten more seconds left. Relax. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up in the air. The contestants have finished their first culinary challenge. It's time now for the judges to taste and assess the dish. Hello, Anish. Hi. What happened? Huh? What happened? You look so unhappy. It's okay. Forget about that. That's nothing. That's fun, right? The team had some issues while trying to open an oil bottle. It splashed on his body, and he was a bit upset, and he was a bit low during that time. One thing I observed was uh, when that accident happened, you guys uh, really managed the situation. You didn't panic. You took situation in control. 
what thought did you put inside while wrapping up the entire thing nutritionally? Well, I believe most of the ingredients are nutritious. Mm -hmm. So my intention was just to have a proper balance of mm -hmm. all of them. And did you end up putting all the ingredients? Uh, we pretty much put everything which was provided. Mm -hmm. uh, but for flavors and all, uh, we also used the leaves which were given okay. just to make some balance there. Mm -hmm. And I can see your dish is looking great. The presentation is wonderful. Uh, looks like you guys uh, did a great job. I could watch you guys were really cool, calm and collected. Although you were helping your dad uh, very thoroughly and uh, you know whatever he needed it was right there in your hands. So, so you were attentive. So that's great. Mm. It's delicious. How was it? Wow. Why did you put the slime in here? Uh, Is there any reason? Slime looks good. Slime looks good. And? And uh, in case you need it. In case you need it. That said, presentation wise, their wrap was a killer. It was really good. The way Sia came up with those olives, the Japanese cucumber, and the cheese on top of each bit of wrap that was amazing and that added an extra kick to that dish. Did you taste it? Not yet. You have to taste it because it's really good. This is a Mediterranean style wrap and I'm missing the Mediterranean flavor. There are no olives in there. Olives and the paneer on top. Mmm. That's very unglamorous. You know, another very important thing that I've seen in your dishes, your cuts, your cuts of funny vegetable, they were so uniform. This is very important. Now it's like when you look the wrap like this, it should look uniform than having big chunks there. I thought that the flavor of olives was really coming through. The presentation was very good. It's really good. I'm really getting the flavor of the olives. I'm getting the flavor of the herbs. It's very nice. It was overall a good dish. Something that I especially liked in your presentation is the use of dill. Dill is an amazing herb. Now, by the looks of it itself, it's an amazing herb. Two things about it. It is very mild in flavor, so it's a very good thing for garnish. And also the structure, the shape of it is very good, it looks good. I feel that the wrap tasted well, tasted good. Uh, it wasn't a very over-the-top wrap, but it was a good wrap. The contestants are already down to their first challenge of this round. This is a competition, so when you're coming for a competition, you have to understand the fact that ultimately you're also going to be rated for the taste. So the taste gets compromised just because of the health factor in the competition and even if you use less salt and sugar, which we want to, but at the same time, you have to flavor it in the perfect manner. What a wonderful round that was. Contestants, you all did very well for your first task. Are you ready for your second challenge? Yes, Chef. For your second dish, you need to use Suwai's whole wheat chapati and make a dessert quesadilla. Quesadilla is a Mexican dish. It is a flatbread sandwich which is usually savory. In this round, the contestants have to make a quesadilla with a twist. The challenge here is to make a sweet quesadilla. The contestants have been given suwai chapatis, caramel syrup, coconut, nuts and seeds to make a dessert style quesadilla. You have 10 minutes to finish preparing this dish. Your 10 minutes start now. If I were you, I would use the biggest side. I'm going to use side. both of them. Both of them? Okay, all right. You're going to give different textures. Fantastic. Now, first you finish one side. Yeah. I want you to brush those quesadillas and put them in the oven as soon as possible. Where's your 
tray. See ya. Where's your tray? Where's your oven tray? Go get your oven tray. Get get your oven tray. Young man, you want to open and check your quesadillas? I'll give you. Now again, we have to see how sweet the quesadilla turns out to be. If it is too sweet, it's gone out of my list as a participant. The participants have to be really particular about uh, balancing the taste as well as health. I think a little bit more. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Keep it here. Keep it here. It's warm. Mm. It's dry. It's dry. Yet another round, yet another challenge. It's never easy to cook without fire. The contestants have been given suwai chapatis to make sweet Caribbean quesadilla. Remove, can you remove this tray? This one will go out of that. We need to cut it. Bring the brush. Ah. Yeah. Paper. Take a paper towel. Better clean the tray. Contestants, you have 10 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 5, 3, 1, stop. The competition ran really well. The three teams were fantastic in their approach. Uh, the best thing that I liked is they picked up the reviews from the previous round and were able to implement. Hmm, very nice. A perfect blend of cardamom, the sweetness is perfect, the nuts are not too finely chopped so that's why the texture can be made out. They use the cardamom a lot, they use the nuts a lot to flavour it up so which perks up the flavour of the dish. Your filling is very crumbly, okay? Your quesadilla is not stuck together and it's also not sweet enough. Without tasting I can say you have done an amazingly well job, yes? Congrats. Say hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yes. Anish was so cute throughout the program. What he demonstrated was that amazing spirit to come back. Wow. What a comeback. And the way they did in no time. They turned the thing around. I feel there could have been more coconut. So more filling. Uh, definitely would be... Um, would make it much palatable. The ghee seems to be a little extra, so it's really shouting out like loud on the palate. The sweet Caribbean quesadilla did not turn out that good, but we got some very good uh, tips and suggestions from the judges, the chef. Your filling is delicious. I love the texture. I also love the crunch on the quesadilla, on the wrap that you've got, okay? Very delicious, very good. I have to tell both of you that you make a very good team together. I really like the way daddy tells you to do things and you follow in the kitchen. The quesadilla that they made was mind-blowing. It was absolutely outstanding. The first dish was not appreciated that much, but the, the second dish turned out to be quite okay. And it stuck well and uh, everybody liked that. So we are hopeful. Let's see how it goes. Sia, Hi. out of 10, how much mark will you give this? Five. Five? Yeah. Do you know that's very low? Quesadilla was a disaster. It wasn't sweet enough, there wasn't enough filling. I would have liked a little bit more of the caramel syrup on it. 
the filling is really crumbly. How will you make the filling better? Adding. Adding a bit more moisture, a bit more syrup, right? A bit more syrup. Or you add less of solid part so that it stays together. We had a little bit of a challenge in terms of sticking it together and also I think the ingredients were not uh, evenly distributed. Uh, so I think a lot of learning, uh, especially from the chefs, a lot of helpful tips and you know, uh, you know, simple things which can help make a lot of difference to the overall dishes. So that was great. Don't feel bad that you know, five and all, no, it's not five, it's 7.5, <laughs> okay? Yet another exciting round has come to an end. The judges have already made up their mind. The experience was good today. We worked together on the, both the dishes. Uh, I was giving some specific tasks to him and he was uh, doing very well. So we are hopeful. Let's see how it goes. Overall, it was, uh, I would say, a very exciting uh, experience. I think it was a great time cooking for the first time with my daughter on a show like this. If you would like to know, which one of these teams made it to the semi-finals? Keep watching, Event Clinic presents Colors, Mr. and Master Cook. <laughs> <laughs>